Hey guys, welcome back to The Sims Medieval Let's Play. And look how close we are to completing this um, aspiration. Look, we've got bronze, s silver, gold, and we're on our way to um, platinum. And oh my gosh, you guys, we're so close. And we still have 14 quest points. Um, what should we get? Uh, let's actually get a Jacobin Priest because he'll give us one shield and um, maybe that will give us um, even more um, security um, quests because now well-being is up one on security and we'll have to do a security quest in this part. <laughs> Yeah, I'm saving this real quick because the last time I put in a uh, Jacobin Cree of uh, <laughs> um, last time I put in a Jacobin Priest, it actually froze up my game, and I had to restart that last um, quest all over again. And I really, 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 really don't want to do that because I've already recorded what I did. So. <laughs> I'm just going to save it for good measure. And then let's add a Jacobin Priest. <laughs> hey. Hello. Sure. Let's name him... Jack. Jack Jacobo. <laughs> Scooby Doo. Uh, I think a priest should be eloquent. Maybe scholarly. And of course, the weak constitution, because that's my favorite thing to use. He's got that baby face. Let's see if we can uh, max out our security in one blow. <laughs> the evolution of the chinchilla. How many does that give me? Two. Oh, hallelujah. <laughs> yes, we'll do this one. <clears throat> a chinchilla was a chinchilla. At least that's what the common wisdom used to be. Before the report started flooding in of chinchillas that seemed impervious to harm. Hunters were in a bit of panic, as their weapons seemed to bounce right off of those creatures' hides. Excuse me. What was going on in the forest? What had happened to those chinchillas? Someone would have to find out, no matter the danger. So conventional swords don't seem to be doing it against these chinchillas. There's a simple solution for that. New, better swords. You got this. <laughs> okay. 
Journeyman Smith William looked up from his forge at the stranger who had wandered in. Clearly a hunter, the man sighed and turned his somewhat resigned eyes toward William. He spoke of hunting of chinchillas and of mysterious inability to pierce their hide. Journeyman Smith William was perplexed. The chinchillas in the local forest had been hunted for quite some time and had rarely offered such resistance. As William stood there thinking, the hunter turned and walked out of the door. I'll be back in a bit, he said. I hope there's something you can do to help me. Hmm. Maybe there is something I can do. make a crude long sword. Good grief. Like, if my mouse went from double clicking to not clicking at all, you guys. I don't know what's going on. was the strangest thing. I've hunted these chichillas for years, but this time it was as if my sword simply bounced off them. You can see for yourself if you want to. Take my sword and go find a chinchilla in the forest, but be careful. The guard seemed pleased. Okay. So, investigate chinchillas in the forest. No, we gotta eat. Yeah, we'll we'll hunt tomorrow after we sleep. Excuse me. Good grief. I think it's about time to go to the forest. Dunna dunna, a dunna dunna. Gonna investigate the chinchillas. <laughs>
help them. Mithril. Oh, creepy. Creepy changetas. <laughs> Journeyman Smith William wandered into the clearing with Hunter Frank's words ringing in his ears. Almost immediately, he was set up uh, upon the chinchillas. Uh, by the chinchillas. Uh, bah, bah. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Almost immediately, he was set upon by the chinchillas. Journeyman Smith William swung his sword quickly and bravely, but as Hunter Frank had foretold, it was useless. It glazed, glazed really. It glanced off the hides of the creatures, and journeyman Smith William was forced to beat a quick retreat. That would be creepy. <laughs> Did you see? I see they set upon you like the beasts they are. <sighs> Was the sword not useless? We hunters need your help. Your best bet may be ringing some device to capture one of these creatures and taking a closer look at its newly grown hide. In the meantime, I will take my back my sword. Probably need to get some health cell, uh, health cells too. He got bit. I kind of figured he did. He's like, normally I'm good at forging, but I had to catch on fire this time. The trap has been constructed. Now it's time to head to the forest and see the little contraption in action. You boogers bit me. Capture the chinchillas. Ah! <laughs> Charge! Let's 
catch us some chinchillas or a chinchilla It was a bit of a struggle, but I've managed to capture one of the buggers. Now to forge a few hammers and give this little guy a few wax to see if I can find a metal that can penetrate his gnarly hide. Ooh, level 4 benefits. New weapons unlocked at the forge. Metalworking requires less time and has a higher chance of success. Okay, let's go home and start forging stuff. Basic staff and a broken sword. That must be a freaking powerful, um, wizard over here. First I thought, um, the, uh, blacksmith caught on fire or something. And, like, the game was running slow or something. Like, what is that? And a fixed sword. Empty box. What the flick a flick a flick? Okay, that was dumb. Crudium hammer. I need two crudium hammers. Well, thanks a lot.
And then let's make the Ada Mantle Hammer. The Ada Mental Hammer has been crafted. To test it properly, I should take both the hammer and the chinchilla to my forge. The regular crafting process will be a good way to see how these two things interact. believe that happened though um I'm pretty sure I tried to give her a a staff but I don't know like what's going on Goodness. Let's make a mithril hammer. Perform the tests. I've crafted the mithril hammer now to test it. Using both this hammer and the capture chinchilla at my forge should give me some good results.
This Ada Mantle hammer can pack a punch, but the metal weighs down the hammer a bit, making it hard to swing. The test did result in a bit of a bruise on the little fella, though. Oh. Ah. While not an object while not an object failure, the mithril hammer didn't really manage to do much to the chinchilla. It did make the hammer much lighter and easier to swing though. Interesting. Although these two hammers themselves are not terribly useful, I may be able to combine an adamantal and mithril to form an alloy that is both strong and light. Then perhaps using that material to make a hammer that would finally yield the results I'm looking for. Get it from the shop. Let's see. Ada Mantra. I didn't actually. No, I didn't. Never mind. <laughs> I thought I did, but I didn't. Voila. I'd have been out there forever trying to, try to find that that mineral.
Ah, I wish that woman would leave my um, hero alone. <laughs> I still can't make it, why not? Oh. Excuse him where? Did it, yo! Boom! Then let's do the test. I have a good feeling about this. This Aiden Manthral hammer feels both light and powerful. Time to take it to the forge with our little chinchilla friend and see what's that what's what Huge success. The hammer delivered a blow that stunned that little chinchilla and made him cower into a corner of his box. He doesn't seem permanently hurt. I didn't hit him that hard after all, but this alloy is definitely a winner. Time to forge an anthemeral sword. Now what am I making? Rowboat and crude long sword. Crude long sword. There we go. And then we will make the sword in the morning. <laughs> Crap chinchilla's bane. He's been getting lucky with his dreams. He keeps getting a good song stuck in his head. Getting lucky. <laughs>
Um, where did I find it at? Here it is. Go collect it. Man, this is a lot of forging. Chill is pain. Let's do this. Sword has been crafted. Hold on. Sword has been crafted, and I should deliver it to the hunter as soon as possible. But first, since I'll be heading out of the for to the forest, I should decide what to do with the little test subject. We are no killers, so we're gonna release release the chinchilla. Journeyman Smith William was wandering through the forest when he heard some chatting and drumming in the distance. Making his way stealthily through the bush, he spied a throng of tall navy blue elves dancing around a glowing tree. Spy on them. Captivated three mana stones. Cool. I was almost a little sad to see my little helper scamper away into the bushes, but I think I made the right choice. As if the watcher agreed, inspiration came to me while in the forest, and I have a new sword that I want to try crafting the next time I get back to my forge. Evolution of the Chinchilla. It had been a few hours later when Hunter Frank walked into the smithy, a grin plastered across his face. The sword you've crafted, it cuts through chinchillas like they are made of soggy cake. Ooh, that is amazing. William nodded at the hunter. 
I'm glad to be of service. Let me know if you need anything else in the future. Uh, Blacksmith William, level 5. Ooh. And he's got benefits, which are new weapons, armor, hammers, and king paw paddles unlocked at the forge. Metal working requires noticeably less time and has a noticeably higher chance of success. Cool. Look, guys, we're done with our security. All we need is one more well-being, and we actually beat this. So, the next part will actually be the very last part of um, the medieval Let's Play. But, I'm going to end this part here. <laughs> and thank you all so much for watching. And if you like this part, part... <laughs> and if you like this part, please remember to like and slash or subscribe. Or comment, not subscribe. Or, yes, please subscribe <laughs> and comment. And uh, I'll see you in the next part. Everybody have a great day.